What's up, guys? Spartan 85 here. Welcome to, well, my house. I built it in seven days to die. I accepted Steve's challenge of building your own house and then bringing on a horde to see how it fares. So I did my best to try to build my house to scale and kind of replicate a little bit, but it's pretty tough in seven days to die. But here's my house. I have this little hill here in front that I tried to replicate as best as I could. Um, and then you kind of go around on here. Here's my garage right here. And the lower half's kind of brick. Some of it's concrete and the rest of it's all wood. So the rest of the house is just a standard wood. Love my back deck. Love, that's my favorite part of my whole house is my back deck. We actually overlook a pond that's over here right here. And it's a beautiful view and stuff. But here's, yeah, that's our back deck right there. And then we have like a lower entry right there. And then nothing really on this side. I'll give you a quick tour, though, before this place comes tumbling down, because uh, we all know it's it's going to come tumbling down pretty quick. So <laughs> let's give you guys a quick tour. If you guys don't know what this is, check out Steve's channel where he did. He's been doing a lot of uh, will it base, a lot of different challenges. They're a lot of fun to watch. But uh, one of them is he built his own house and, you know, brought on a horde and stuff and see how it would do. Hey, there's Trader Hugh chilling in the bathroom. But uh, yeah, there's Trader Wrecked hanging out. I don't know if they're going to help me much on the horde or not. I really don't know. But uh, but yeah, check check out his uh, his rendition of this, and I'm going to give my best if I can. And I'm doing a day 700 horde. I figured that's going to bring um, quite a bit of zombies. There's our bathroom there. And then uh, my attic is right here. I did upgrade my player pretty high. I, I put a lot of points into parkour. Thinking I'll bring on a bigger horde if I have a higher play character, but I want to have parkour higher. Because once they break in, I just want to retreat to the attic and let them tear down this house and see. I want, I'm curious how long this house will actually stand. Really curious. So there's our kitchen. This goes out on the back deck here. There's our view. And then here's the basement here. Hey, Jen. Hanging out in the basement. So here's our little... Uh, here's where all the magic happens for Spartan 85. This is my little gaming setup. Uh, I do have a desk similar to this. So, a little L-shaped desk right here. But yeah, nice downstairs down here. This goes out side. And this is like a little utility room that connects to the garage. Here's the garage. Hey, there's Trader Joel. What are you staring at, dude? I don't know. Motorcycle. And then this goes back into the downstairs right here. Okay, well, that's the tour. What I'm going to do is I put everything that I use to stock the house into the fridge here. So here's everything here. I'm going to take one of each thing. If I have like three beds in the house, I'll use three beds. But I'm going to barricade the house now. And so the challenge is to use whatever you have in your house. Like, let's say I have two sinks. I have, you know, one bathtub, two bathtubs, whatever. Uh, three beds. That's what we're going to use to barricade your house. So I'm going to go ahead and just destroy everything real quick. And then uh, we're going to barricade. And the only things I really destroyed was what's going to be in my way of running from the zombies, basically. <laughs> so that's really all I destroyed. Everything else I'm going to leave intact. Okay, and here's the weapons I'm bringing. I'm trying to bring weapons that I have in my house that I own or I own something close to. So I have the tactical assault rifle, a pistol, a pop shotgun, lever action rifle, a stun baton I don't have, but I just want to use it because it's freaking fun. A steel club, uh, a bow. I brought a rocket launcher because, like I said, it is fun. I don't have a rocket launcher. I sure wish I did. Uh, some Molotov cocktails because I feel like I have stuff around the house I can make a Molotov cocktail with. 
and some pipe bombs um, that I feel like I do have some gunpowder laying around. I could maybe make a pipe bomb. I don't know. Probably not. I probably just end up blowing myself up and some ammo. I do have a decent amount of ammo. So I brought that stuff and uh, let's see how we're going to do. I think this is the way they're going to come right here. This isn't the most fortified way. Let's shut the door. Uh, let's shut the door. Yes. That door is shut. I got gun safes here. All right. I think without further ado, let's bring on the horde. Can't really see out. That's the only problem with having the bar have it barricaded like it is. I can kind of jump like that. Uh, I can see out this way if they do come this way. Here they come, though. I'm probably going to get murdered immediately, I'm guessing. They come to the front door. I think so. Oh, he made it in quick. That's not good. Um, yeah, they're coming in. Oh, boy. Okay, let's go here. If I can make this jump. Oh, this is not good. That was really freaking fast. Uh, I did bring this just in case I need to uh, make some holes for myself. Hi, guys. Oh, they're going to tear this house down. <laughs> they're going to freaking tear the house down. Oh, there goes a painting. No, not the painting. Oh, man, this is bad. Let's see what's going on outside real quick. Oh, uh, there's some down here. Is that a demolisher? No, that's not a demolisher. That's a... Lumberjack. I don't think this thing's going to last very long. <laughs> I really don't. They're just destroying... I mean... The thing is, all they have to do is bring me down. They don't have to bring the house down. They just got to bring me down. Which isn't going to take much. Just destroying the walls. Oh, I didn't bring any water, did I? That shouldn't last very long. Man, I bring in one first aid kit. One first aid kit. I figure that's kind of what I have around the house. I'm just going to use it now. My own stupidity. Let's get some pipe bombs going. Look at that. They've already taken out that part of the house right there. Oh, not good. Is that a demolit? That might be a biker or a lumberjack. I can't tell. That's a radiated uh, demolisher. I don't want him to go off. I do not want him to go off. Oh man, this is bad, guys. There's holes everywhere. What's going on over here in the kitchen? They're going downstairs. Let's get a rocket down there. Oh, I didn't bring the rest of my rockets, did I? Oh, look at this. You can see all the way downstairs. Oh no. Oh, they're destroying this fast. Demolisher. blow he might blow oh yes there we go all right
They are just running absolutely everywhere. Just running in circles. There's a demolisher going off! Oh no! <laughs> Took out the whole side of the house! Oh, I think the cop made him go off, I think. Actually, it helps me out a little bit. I can see these guys a little more now. You know, as far as a base, just hanging out in the attic isn't that bad. Not that bad at all. Oh boy! Oh, they might have a way to get up here. They might have a way. Oh no, this is not good. There's a demolisher down there. Yeah, this is, this is not good. I can't see anything. I am out of ammo for the 762. Is this button hit? I don't think it is. I was actually kind of curious to see what happened if I hit the button there. Well, they're all kind of spread out right now. Looking for a way to get to me. I don't know that they have a way to get all the way up here pretty fast. The red loot bag down there. You don't see those a lot. Jin's still down there. Oh, there's a bunch of them over here. Oh yeah, there's a bunch over here. Just tumbled over. That was a way for them to get to me, too. That sucks. I haven't seen a demolisher for a little while, though. I haven't seen a demolisher for a hot minute.
was our first Rob Zombie. Radiated Rob Zombie, too. All right, first one I've seen this horde. They're working on stuff over here. This corner. I think that's... They see that as a way to get to me, I think. They're working on that. The others are just trying to bring the place down, I think. It's officially daytime. The base is still standing. Let's see what's left. <laughs> the whole back is gone. My deck is still standing, though. Um, let's see the front. They took out a big chunk of the front. Uh, wow. Look at this, guys. Can I... Is my bed still here? My bed's still here. They've taken out large chunks. Very large chunks. But as far as will it base? I mean, sure. If you sit up in the attic. I mean, yeah. It'll base. Um, okay. Let's try something a little different. Bring in some demolishers. Let's see what happens. Let's see how long this base will last. Let him get in there. Whoa! I did not mean to do that. Back into God mode. Here they come. They're all piling in. Oh, they're going in the front door. Look at that. There's one. Oh boy. Oh, it's starting to crumble a little bit, but still even with the demolishers. Let me see that button. There's one. Still standing, sort of. Give me a button. There we go. Now oh, she's starting to come down. Uh oh, is it coming down now? I can hear it. I mean, technically, you can still sit up here in the attic, though. There's still a lot standing in the attic. Bring in some more demolishers. There's one. Oh my gosh. This might be it. <laughs> Well, I'd say we did it. This side's still standing over here. I need to bring in some more demolishers to get the whole thing to fall, but will it base? That's the question I keep asking. I think it will. Um, just have to sit up in the attic, basically, like I said earlier. So, guys, thank you for watching. Steve, thank you for this awesome challenge. Thank you for bringing it to us. And uh, stay tuned for more challenges. Me and Steve have something up our sleeves we're kind of thinking about. So, hope you guys enjoyed this. I'll see you guys later. Bye.